Welcome to another episode of my series, Taking You Out. My name is Chloe George. I am a creative entrepreneur, friends lover, interior designer, lover of all things tech and digital, but most importantly, your new biz BFF. In this series, I will walk you through the ins and outs of the tech software you will need to automate, organize, and elevate your biz so you can get back to doing the things you love most, which is creating. So make sure to check it out. In today's Teching It Out episode, I'm going to show you how to create your podcast template using Squarespace as your website. Why is this important? It takes the busy work out of creating the same thing every single week or whenever you post. It's easier to show your VA or whoever works on your website design, and it creates brand unity throughout the website, so everything looks pretty much the same. Hey everyone, welcome back to Teching You Out. On today's episode, I am going to show you if you currently have a Squarespace site and you are a podcast host, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create a podcast template for your show notes so that you're constantly not writing the same things over and over again. So I'm going to go into my Squarespace. You see I have logged in already. And what I'm going to do is show you how I create a podcast template. So I am the owner of this page, obviously, but I am the podcast host, which is what I meant to say, of the From Cubicle to CEO podcast. So it is in my, it's part of my website. So I have like the information here and um, these are my show notes. So most of the time they're kind of following the same format. So instead of creating a new page of what goes where, I kind of created a template. I'm gonna show you what that looks like and then I'll show you how to create your own. So my website theme has a banner. This is optional. I kind of like to use it to kind of um, just give it some more, I don't know, design element aesthetically. So what I do is Every episode, I like to include the image for the show. When I have a guest co-host, I tend to make their picture or put their picture right here. Um, the title episode here, the embedded code from the podcast host, which is for me is Anchor. I kind of always have this wording of every single episode has this. This is just my show intro to kind of make them feel like they're listening even when they're not. Um, and then kind of the body of show notes, which is where I'll add whatever information I want to add. A lot of the times I do transcribe my episodes when it is a long conversation. So I can kind of take out the main points. Here, the bonuses is anything that I've, I talked about on the episode, uh, something free, um, anything like that, any promotions that I may have going on or my guests. And I also um, include in the body of the show notes, the information for the guest co-host. I don't write it here because I just, um, it depends on what, you know, who it is. So I'm not going to write that information there. And then always at the bottom, I'm always going to link to my resources, the, F, uh, the Facebook group and the life edit newsletter. So I always have that here. Now on the side, I have under the the podcast image, I did want to include subscribe to these different spots. You can check out the website on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Google Podcasts. And then what I'll do is I'll update these links with the actual episode link. And I always want to have my banner to join the Facebook group. And I always want to have the banner to kind of um, send them this email series. So that's a constant and that's pretty much always. So what I end up doing is this is my podcast template, but what I'll do is when I'm ready to write my, sh my new show note, I will hit the gears button or the information button, hit that there. And then what I'll do is I will go ahead and duplicate the page. Now this page will show up at the top here of this section and it'll say, or sometimes up here, it depends on where it goes. It'll say um, podcast template copy with the parentheses. 
So I'll show you what that looks like right now. So I'll hit duplicate page. It's gonna say, are you sure? I'm gonna hit confirm. And then right here to say podcast template copy. What you'll do is just move it over to your folder if you have one. You don't necessarily have to have one, whatever way works for you. I just like to keep my things a little more um, streamlined and organized. So that is what, this is the one I'm going to be working for. Again, my template says here, and this one in parentheses does say copy. But before we get into it um, and see, it looks exactly the same way as the other one. So now I can plug in my information for the actual episode. Before we go into that, I'm going to show you how to create your podcast template. So super quick and easy. Um, you're just going to go up here. You're going to hit your not linked, add a page. And for me, I kind of just play around with things. So I just do a blank page. All right. For the sake of this episode, it's going to have to be something else. Podcast show notes. Um, you can write podcast template, podcast show notes template, something that lets you know that that is going to be duplicated every single time. Um, and once you have your page here, it's just like any other Squarespace site. You're just going to go ahead and just play with the things that you want to include and how you want them to look. So I'm going to add media. I'm going to add an image. And this is going to be my banner now. Not 100% sure with my things are at. So give me one second. I'm, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to add anything. It's just to show you. So I'm just going to add this. This is going to become my banner. Once it loads, it will show up on my page. I'll hit save. Now I wanna just make this look just a little bit better because it's so truncated. So I'm gonna add a spacer. I'm going to drag the spacer down so it shows more of the picture. And let's say here I can write, show notes, bolt it out. I'm going to change it to something that you can actually see. Um, so that's optional. You don't have to write anything and you don't even have to put a banner. That's just something that I like to do. Then I'm going to get into the page content. Um, so just like, again, Squarespace is just kind of plug and play. So I'm gonna add my image and then I wanna add my text, right? So I'm gonna hit save for that. I'm going to, if it doesn't make me look bad, I'm going to add another block of text. And in this one, I'm going to say title of show. Once I have that, I want to kind of have them in columns instead of like this part being on top of this. But again, just play around with the way you want it to look. So I actually drag the picture and I kind of snap it to the left hand side. So it shows up like this. And since this image is quite large, I'm going to drag this, find the ending section of the image. And there should be a two bars and arrows in different directions. That means that you can drag this section. So I'm just gonna drag it over just a bit. I'm gonna make this title section bold. You can change your fonts by going up here, um, whatever you, however you want it to look, depending on your site's design style. Remember that it's your, your design style for your, for your website. So I'm going to go into, grab one of these images, doesn't matter which one. Um, usually I put the generic one, the, when I'm doing a solo episode, it, it looks a little different than when I have a co-host, just a slight bit different. So I'll add that, I'll let it save. And then here, I usually put in the embedded code section. Um, you can do, again, what you want on it. I usually do that. And then below that, I usually 
add more text. And here is where the body of the podcast episode goes. So I know that this whole entire section will be the, the show notes, pretty much. Then down here, if I wanted to add a spacer, then I'll add more text and I'll put bonus. And then I'll add another text of, or let's say you wanted to include your, let's say you wanted to include your newsletter, you can add that here and it'll show up there. And then pretty much, again, anything that you want that you're going to constantly do every single time you, you create an episode, you kind of want to have it in your show template. So once you have everything done, you're going to do exactly what I did before. You are going to go to the little gears. I'm not 100% sure what the actual name of that is, but that's what I call it. Um, and you hit duplicate page and you do exactly what I did in, in the other one where it showed that it's, a, it's gonna say pod, whatever you name it, and it's gonna show parentheses copy. I'm gonna delete this because again, this is not needed, but I'm gonna show you kind of what I have to do. Once I create a podcast template, then I would hit the little gears again. I'm actually going to change the name of this to season two, episode five, and whatever the name of the title. This is my next episode, so I might as well just get it on here. Um, I copied that because I wanted to show up on the navigation page. Then I changed the URL slug, very important, to whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to change this for now. have some updating to do this week, so that's perfectly fine. You can add a description here. This will show up when someone clicks on the link or you share the link. It's going to show up what that episode is about. And then once you hit save, this is going to go from podcast template copy to the name of the episode. Once you have that, you can actually go into the body of this. This, for some reason, when you do hit copy, it does make this image smaller. So I just go back into the image itself, create a spacer, and pull the spacer down so I can get more of that image. And that's just aesthetic preferences. You do not have to do that. And then now here, I'll change the image if I have, if it's a guest co-host, I'll have the image there. But I want to update the body of this. So now I'll go to season two, episode five. Learn to play. Um, I'll get the embedded code once I publish this into Anchor. So I'm not gonna do that now. And then here I just start writing in this episode, I chat with such and such, whatever, whatever. Um, my bonus this week is free tech guide. Tech guide to help you automate business and whatever else from that episode that she mentioned or my guest mentioned, I'll add that here. Here, I'll go ahead and up, once I publish, I go ahead and update this and change the click through URL for all of these. And that's pretty much it. Now you have your next episode. All you did was use the same template because it's the same thing going every single week or every time you publish one. And it just makes it easier to kind of plug and play. So if you enjoy that, please, please subscribe to this channel. Check out more of my tech videos. Leave me a comment down below on what you want to see me um, go through next in the tech, in the tech new out series. And I'll talk to you again another time. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Teching You Out. Um, join me next week. We'll get into a little different vibe with the podcast. Um, no, well, not the note template, but we're going to do the guest form, the way that you can automate that. So look out for that for next weekend. Until then, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what other things you'd like me to touch on as far as this um, Teching You Out series goes. Any questions you have? anything, just leave it down below. Don't forget to like this 
And if you like this series, don't forget to subscribe, please. And turn your notification bells on if you care to make my channel grow. Thank you so much. And I'll check you out.